We are so excited about what is today and what is on the horizon. Today, we're capturing renewable natural gas from landfills, dairy farms, uh, poultry farms, cleaning it up and putting it into our systems. We're digitizing everything for our customers. We're using artificial intelligence. We're doing predictive analytics so we can make sure our systems are safe before anything actually happens. I'm truly excited about all of the opportunities for us to evolve our energy systems. That includes biogas, renewable natural gas, synthetic natural gas, and hydrogen blending. I think all of those technologies will be a significant part as we decarbonize our energy systems over the next three decades. I really think that there's going to be tremendous progress over the next five to ten years in being able to decarbonize the gas supply and find other ways to deliver affordable service to our customers. I think one of the most interesting things that we're seeing right now is the advent of renewable natural gas. We're looking at uh, some additional technology uh, that would basically take and introduce hydrogen uh, as a fuel into our system that we believe can have up to 25% carbon reduction uh, impact to that portion of our gas system. There's also new compression technologies to make sure that we have the ability to provide gas um, on a more immediate basis and be able to manage our systems more cost effectively. We are of course excited about the ability to use um, artificial intelligence in the way we execute our maintenance on our system to identify is there a way we might do it better or more efficiently than even that we're doing it today. So we're really excited about how that technology will help us keep costs down keep our reliability high and also bring a valued uh, service to our customers.